An application of differential equations is exponential growth and decay models. These models arise from the following statement. The rate of change of the quantity is proportional to the size of the quantity. The differential equation that arises from this statement is dy dt, the rate of change of the quantity is proportional to equals some constant multiplied by the quantity itself, y. This differential equation represents exponential growth whenever k is positive. This differential equation represents exponential decay whenever k is negative. We can solve this differential equation to show that it, the solution will always be this quantity here. So let's go ahead and prove that. dy dt, the rate of change of the quantity, is proportional to the quantity. Now notice I'm only using a negative k because they wanted it to represent exponential decay. So to solve this differential equation, I need to use separation of variables. We have variables in terms of y and variables in terms of t. Separating these variables, I have the integral of 1 over y dy equals the integral of negative k dt. Solving this using antiderivatives, it's ln absolute value of y plus c1 equals negative kt plus c2. Consolidating our constants, ln absolute value of y equals negative kt plus c3. Now we could use this initial condition here to solve for c. This is telling us when t is 0, y is y naught. So ln absolute value of y naught is negative k times 0 plus c3. So we know c3 is ln of absolute value of y naught. Going back to our problem, we have um, ln absolute value of y equals negative kt plus ln absolute value of y naught. To solve for y, I'm going to exponentiate both sides. e to the ln cancels, and we're left with y equals e to the negative kt times e to the ln absolute value of y naught. Note that this adding of exponents means that we're multiplying common bases. e to the ln cancels, and we're left with y of t equals y naught e to the negative kt, which is what we were going to prove. So since we know that this differential equation will always solve to be this answer, we can memorize that whenever we have exponential growth or decay, y of t is going to equal y naught e to the kt. Make sure that looks like y naught times e to the kt. k can be positive or negative depending on whether it's growth or decay. And anytime we have a problem that is connecting the rate of change of a quantity being proportional to the quantity itself, then we can go straight into this solution to the differential equation.